Hello, gamers. We are live. Um, let me just make sure the stream is working. Make sure to smash a like on the stream. Let me um check it. All right, there we go. go yeah man wait hold on let me open up discord and make sure that them um, people know that it started most toxic has to be the badger i mean i would have said that before but eh, not anymore wait why is it not dude why is it not pinging my Discord needs to ping. My Discord needs to ping. Wait, why is it not? Hold on. At everyone. Live. Oh wait, it didn't even ping about the what the frick? Did the bot break? He's DR. Wait, hold on guys. One second. Go watch the video first. All right, that is so goofy. I don't know why it, it did that, man. All right, we are um, using G3. What? Oh, that's my teammate. G3 moment, because people wanted me to uh, use G3 on stream. So I'm going to be doing that in the stream today. What the frick? Who is shooting me? Yeah. I'm dead. Oh, look, it's the Auge 2. Honey Badger angled grip. Dude, Honey Badger, Angle Grip, and Red Laser. Let me move. Yeah, you're gonna just snipe me. No, he's gonna miss. Imagine. SFG, wow. Better recoil than M60? Uh, probably. Uh, Base, no attachments. I think the M60 is more accurate. But the G3 just has certain recoil that allows you to use a sideways grip green laser. A goaded, absolutely goaded loadout. Did he die? Wait, did he get like traded or something? What the freak happened to that guy? Oh, that's where he is. Okay, I thought that was my teammate. Not gonna lie. Uh, trick shot time? <laughs> Imagine. Okay, dude. That felt semi close. Probably wasn't. Okay, dude. What the? F oh, he died. Okay. Aim, dude. Okay. P90! Yeah, no. The, uh, the G3 is really, really good. This update. It's actually, like, one of the best guns in the game right now. I ain't even gonna lie. It's actually goaded. The recoil's are really good with uh, attachments. You have to run T-Break, Sideways, Green Laser. You have to run that, okay? Rat Shot BFG. Rat Shot BFG is like the most mid gun ever made. Just saying. Never use BFG Rat Shot. The, the gun by itself is basically just a shotgun with slugs that infinitely uh, can torso kill. Oh my gosh. Dude, okay, I guess I just jump up here over and over again, and I get a kill every single time. <laughs> Use ARS instead of T-Break? No, I wouldn't recommend, um, ARS. I'm using ARS, but I wouldn't recommend it. I just don't like how loud the gun is by default, so that's why I run it. But I don't recommend it. Because it will make your uh, three hit limb range worse, uh, which is kind of an important factor with this gun. So I'm running a suboptimal loadout on it, sort of. It's not that big of a deal, because yeah, it can still three hit torso all ranges, but it has to be all three torsos, so. But just hit your headshots. I'm not gonna lie, like, this gun just hits headshots basically all the time. Yes, I do have a movement guide. I have a new one very recently. Covers actually all the advanced movement as well. Like launch tech and share moving tech. A lot of stuff on this map. A ton of stuff on this map. Oh my gosh, I dinked him once. I don't even. That was the weirdest spawn ever. How is that guy there? 
MP5K10 is so good for my playstyle. Yeah, it's just a really good gun. This gun is actually like the most goaded Desert Storm gun, I'm not gonna lie. I, I mean, I guess you could use a DMR, but I feel like for just like overall, just great effectiveness for any range. This is honestly like, I don't know what that guy's doing. This gun is just great. Just does every range really, really well now. Okay, dude. Slow RPM would be M3A1. Yeah. M3A1 is really good. Um, You're like here. Oh, did I tag him? Okay, dude. Yeah, G3 is my favorite gun. Overall. I think this gun like always goes crazy. It, I don't use it all the time, though. I try to use it as much as possible, but I use like a different gun all the time. Even when I'm grinding this gun, I'll only use it for like a game. But it is the only gun that I really like grind for kills right now. Okay. What is your favorite AR? Uh, eh, probably G11. That one's the most interesting. I don't use like... I try, I try not to use boring guns. Well, I don't try not to. It's just like, I don't like using boring guns. And the assault rifles are pretty freaking boring, so I don't use them often. I usually use like SMGs, double barrel shotgun, sniper rifles, stuff like that. You know, I played this game for too long to uh, just use the M16A3. I'm just like that with most games. I don't, I don't, um, play the most optimal but like, like basic way to play right because I get bored of it really quick so I don't do it often G11 unironically my most kill AR how many kills I don't actually have that many on the G11 it's probably my favorite AR but I don't use it that much I only have 500 kills on the G11 which is actually more than I expected I'm not gonna lie I just say, like, if there was one that I, I... I don't go out of my way to use the G11 much, but, you know. Of the ones where I'd be like, yeah, this one is really cool. It's probably the uh, G11. Because it's like... Yeah, you can use, like, a freaking 800 RPM assault rifle that's going to be really good. Right? Like, that. obviously, that's going to be a good way to play, but is that going to be, like, your favorite playstyle, or are you just going to get a lot of kills? Scar L, uh, I liked the Scar L a lot. I actually got my highest skill game with the Scar L 9 mil, but it's just not that good anymore. Not gonna lie. There's basically no reason to use the Scar L if you have the um, Type 20. Type 20 is better than the Scar L in pretty much every way. Muzzle velocity, same RPM. They both can four hit. Yes, Scar L can um, four hit to the limbs, but it the... Type 20 can 4 hit if you just hit a couple of torso shots. So it's actually like really easy to 4 hit anyway. So yeah, I don't really I don't really recommend use it. Um has the AK-103 been changed at all in the past year? Uh, maybe they oh yeah, well in the past year, yeah, they made it a uh, 3 to a 5 hit, but it has 24 min, so it's actually like ultra goaded. It's actually really, really good. But the oh my gosh, Ravid 2016, really? Do you plan on do you plan to make videos on non FPS games? Not really. Um, I don't really plan on making videos on many games outside of PF at the moment because uh, I'm enjoying making PF videos. They get the most views anyway, so yeah. If I was gonna make non PF videos or non Roblox videos, I probably would make a different channel. And I don't really have the time to do uh, a new channel right now, so I'm not gonna. I'm dead. I knew that was the. Oh, wait. That was uh, not the DT11 guy. I already killed that guy. Oh my gosh, it's not letting me super jump, but maybe I survived because I didn't. Oh, what the. Wait, that's. Whose nade is that? That's not their spawn. How is there just a random nade in our spawn being thrown from above? Doesn't make any sense. I couldn't tell whose it was, but I didn't think it was ours. Oh my gosh, I got a kill with that. Oh, you bounced real dude. I 
I I clicked four to drop the nade, but it doesn't drop the nade anymore. You gotta be over there somewhere. That is so freaking annoying, dude. When I use the nades, they don't drop on the ground. When other people do, they drop on the ground. Bro, what is going on in the uh, chat right now? I do not want to open the chat. Ooh, headshot. What? What is bro doing? What are you doing there? <laughs> what a freaking weirdo, dude. For real. For real, for real. Oh my gosh. If that guy didn't have a sniper, that would crack. What suppressor? Uh, ARS. ARS is easily the best suppressor. For recoil, at least. Oh my gosh, if he didn't have a shotgun. Thanks for making content on the game. Yes, sir. Yeah, I like this game. It's one of my favorite games. Only Roblox game I play right now. Don't play any freaking Roblox outside of it. I play real games. Like Phantom Forces. Phantom Forces is actually one of the most goaded games ever made. I don't know what that guy's doing. Are you on our... Why did it not show his bar? Yeah, there's basically no reason to use any suppressor. That's not the suppressor suppressor or the ARS suppressor. If you're using any other suppressor, you're throwing. ARS is the best for recoil easily. And then suppressor is just the best because it's a suppressor. It has very small effect on recoil, but it's a positive effect. And then... Um, Yeah. Uh, other than that, it's like... Doesn't really have any effect on recoil, to be honest with you, but... It doesn't have any negative drawbacks. Except for aiming walk speed. There is that. Which is uh, not that big of a deal. So, yeah. That's why I kind of recommend you just... Uh, run suppressor on, like, a sniper. Any gun that you don't care about recoil control. And then run ARS when you want recoil control. But do keep in mind that you lose a little bit of range with it, but it's kind of worth it. Because otherwise, if you're running, like, uh, a barrel attachment, you may as well just run a recoil one that doesn't reduce range, like a compensator or something. But, uh, you know, suppressors are nice. You don't get caught on the radar, and, like, some of the guns are just super freaking loud. So many people are getting vote kicked. What is going on, dude? That guy's prone and, like, 200 meters away, and I'm able to kill him. 2k and you get silver play button. True. Okay, dude. What, is, what happened to that guy, dude? Oh my gosh. Double headshot. Oh, shoot. What? That didn't let me up? Uh, For the M60, I think. Oh my gosh. I don't think I can do anything about that many prone people, though. For the M60, you want to run... I think it's like... I think it's like Compensator 2 Blue Lasers. I think that's what it is right now. I can't hit that guy. He has such a weird angle on me. What? Huh? You gonna re-peek? He's waiting for regen. Come here, bud. Oh my gosh, what a loser. Why would he not re-peek me? It's so annoying. He's still over there. Wait, he didn't even pick it up. I don't know what this guy's doing, man. I ain't even gonna lie to you. I don't know where he went. It's so weird, dude. Uh, thoughts on Groza 4? It used to be a little bit better, but it's not that good anymore. I mean, it's alright, but yeah. It, it does high damage, but it has really bad bullet velocity and stuff, so. I don't really recommend it, to be honest with you. If you run. Oh, wait, no, they removed the hollow point thing on it. Yeah, it's just not that good. I won't lie. Should I pre buy Bars Barrel and AK 105? 100%. Yeah, the base gun is, like, not even that good. Like, it's fine. The base gun is fine, but you gotta use Bars Barrel if you want it to actually be that good. I, I honestly, like, dude, base gun. I mean, it's got good recoil, but then the damage is, like, super freaking mid. It's 36 to 20, and then I think it has 600 RPM. It's, like, really freaking bad RPM for the damage it does.
I'm not using M16A3 setup. Should I pre-buy M79? No, never. <laughs> M79 is not good, and it's never been good. Uh, it's funny. Honestly, I'd never see it in-game anymore. It's really sad. It fell off for real. Yeah, Chris Vector 357 is easily the best gun in the game. The magazine capacity doesn't even matter. I, I don't know. If, you, if you're missing with the Vector, I don't get it, dude. It basically two-hit kills body. It does 49.5 body shot. So, I don't know. If you're if you're not killing anybody with that, I don't know what to tell you. If you have a good setup. Like, if you just don't know about the double yellow, um, yeah, I, I get it. It's, it's really not that good without it. It literally just has a... What are you doing? What a loser. How are you going to sit down below me and just never shoot at me? What do you think about Type 20? Oh my gosh. Uh, Type 20 is easily one of the best assault rifles in the game. I'd say it's number two. Better than... It, it basically beats AK-74, Scar-L, all those guns. Any of those, like, 600, 650 RPM guns that are supposed to have, like, good damage over range, it beats all of those. Auge-1, even. Like, Auge-1 is, is pretty good. But, uh, Type 20 is just better. Dude, uh, we're actually getting spawn trapped right now. Is Auge 3 still meta? No, it wasn't. It wasn't meta. It wasn't meta last update, and it's not this update. Auge 2. What are you doing, dude? A weirdo. Oh my gosh, that wall bang. <laughs> that wall bang was snutty. Best AK 105 setup? Literally just two yellow lasers, bars, barrel. That's it. Um, Don't use an ammo type. I don't think you need one. No, you probably don't need an ammo type. And then, uh, yeah, side of preference. Bro, this wall pen is so nice with AP. It's not that great, but it's it's just under two studs, which is pretty good, you know? What is number one AR below? It's, um, it's Auge 2. Respectfully, Auge 2 is the best assault rifle. And it's not even that close. Like, it's sort of close. I would say that the, uh... What's the next map? Black Sight. Best MP5 case setup? Is Auge 1 still... It wasn't. It wasn't the best. It wasn't the best, and it's not the best. 5 6 on 109 makes it a 6 shot. Don't use it. No, it... 5 5 6 has never been that good. I use it on the AK-103 because um, it's the Galil. Do you play Terraria? Yeah. If you use the KS-23M with a conversion, you should be using Barricada and Paradox Choke because it's the best sniper in the game. Okay, it's not the best sniper in the game, but it's unironically better than like 80% of the snipers in this game. Not even trolling. Somebody recommended it to me on stream. Somebody who actually, like, knows the stats of the guns. I was like, oh, wow, yeah. Because <laughs> that has choke, but the choke is fake. It doesn't actually have choke. So, even though it's supposed to be, like, an inaccurate conversion, it's actually accurate. And it has a torso kill range of, like, 100 studs. Oh my gosh, I'm dead. BFG through the freaking truck, dude. Can't even see me. Operation Locker, if it was Epic Sauce. I'm dead. No, I'm not. I'm now dead. So unlucky. MP7 is meta? Oh, yeah. MP7 is very meta. MP7 is cracked. I'd say it's number two SMG. Tied with P90. I'd say it's better than the P90, though. It's definitely tied, but for me personally... Actually, I don't know, man. Because the, um, the P90 has a better TTK by a decent amount, you know? Because it just shoots a lot faster. Both are a 4 hit. Uh, MP7 just has like amazing damage now. It is so good. With AP, it does 33 to 20. Which is like better than like assault rifles. Okay, it's better than like a carbine. It has 950 RPM. So it's kind of goaded. I ain't even gonna lie. Okay, dude. No, don't repeat him. Shh. Oh, okay. Wait. wait, there's a guy like right there. Oh, he's above. Okay, I see. 
I swear you used to get more XP for people spawning on you. Wasn't it 25 before? Maybe I'm tripping. In battle bed, I know it's like the same as getting a kill for somebody to spawn you. No, it's like 50% of a kill. It'd be like if you got 50 XP for it in this. Just so dumb, dude. I don't get why you'd get that much for it. I mean, I'm fine with it because I level up faster in that game because of it, but... I don't know. It doesn't make any sense, dude. Oh my gosh. You could figure out a way to, like, farm spawns. Be better than actually playing the game. That's so unlucky. Chris Factor 357 is the best gun in the game right now. Essentially. I would say overall it's the best gun in the game. It's not great for range, but like you can, you can run it at like decent ranges. And if you're just running like a CTC map, it's it's just the best gun. G3 is up there though. I don't know where I'd put the G3, but it is surprisingly one of the best guns in the game right now. Um, RPK hollow point. Mm, oh no, RPK AP, not hollow point. RPK with AP is kind of better. What are you? What a loser! You rank 55, you pre-bought an AA-12, and you're sitting prone in your own spawn. On top of a box. Oh my gosh, dude. I know this guy's like, actually 6. <laughs> so I feel bad for actually getting angry at him for playing the game and, and however he feels like it, you know? There's nothing objectively wrong with it, you're allowed to play like that. Just weird. Is anybody back there? They love to just spawn back there when I'm like 10 feet away and looking the other direction. So I have to check. This game is so weird though, man. The spawns like don't... Wh what are you... He's not even shooting at me. G3 is best mid to long range auto. Huh? I would say it's definitely up there, but I still feel like there's just more accurate guns. But I totally agree that it's one of them. I don't know. I don't want them to nerf it. The only time I would be happy with them nerfing this gun is if they brought back the old one, because I much prefer the old one. The, the old one had way more recoil, but it had more RPM and it reloaded faster, and it was really fun. But it actually had recoil to it. And then they added, then they did that like grip rework that made the uh, Hero CQR grip make it really accurate, and then it was just so accurate that um they had to nerf it which was so stupid because it's like it's not the gun that was op it was the grip so if you didn't have that grip on it it was it was just a nerf to it and if you uh did have the grip then it was still good but then the handling was like awful it's like dude just nerf the attachment or remove the attachment from the gun don't make the gun bad just because one grip attachment is is good The recoil on the Vector 357 is really low. You just need a double yellow laser, and then it's actually like fake recoil. It looks like it has way more recoil than it than it does in in terms of like your use of the gun. Like, I'll just show you it. Like it looks like it has high recoil, but it's only vertical. So you just pull down, and then it doesn't have recoil. You just have to have the uh, double yellow setup on it. And ironically, this is, like very accurate, and you can use it over range. The uh, muzzle velocity is good as well. Like actually just goaded it's actually just super goaded when did double yellow become good um when they started adding the new recoil system to guns it's not that good on like most guns but then it's really good on like certain new recoil guns but also uh technically depending on like the the type of new recoil they use i guess this setup of uh sideways grip and green laser is actually better i don't know how it works i don't know that much about the stats to tell you each individual um, thing, but there are people that do the calculations more than I do. You know? The people who are like scientists of Phantom Force's gun setups. And I listen to them. Is this like stubby grip? It used to just be like use a stubby grip and a laser and you're good and a full stock if you need it. But now the lasers, they, they basically just made the lasers three times as effective for whatever they did and then gave them like new stats as well. Like they just actually do stuff now and it's and it's really annoying because it's like, <laughs> well, since when did a laser, putting a laser sight on your gun, make it have like no recoil? You know, before it was like, ah, oh, yeah, it makes your hip fire a little better. It's like, okay, that's fine. 
This one's this one gives you two percent better recoil, and it's like, yeah, I, it doesn't make any sense, right? But uh, it's it's cool because this game isn't really meant to be realistic. But then it's like, yeah, by the way, a blue laser is better than a full stock, and it has no downside. Yeah, the the G three is really good. G three is one of the best guns if you know how to use it. I don't know. They really got to figure out how they're doing the lasers, man. Because they started nerfing a couple of them. And um, then then they uh, haven't reverted them at all. And I feel like the lasers should just not have this much of an effect. Literally better than a full stock. I'm not trolling. The blue laser is better than running a full stock. And unlike a full stock, like, I'm not, I'm not saying it's like, oh, it's like, you know, it, it just doesn't reduce your walk speed. No, the blue laser reduces recoil by more than a full stock. And a full stock makes your handling terrible. So what is he... Did you get him? I think he got him. So it's like, what is even the point of using this this attachment that's supposed to have, you know, an upside but then a, a drawback? If it doesn't... If the upside is gone and the drawback is still there. You know, makes no sense, man. I feel like Phantom Force is the old grips before the rework, and I like how they buffed some of the grips, but they made the grips like have such specific effects on recoil, where it like is the only way that certain guns are good. Cause it's like they balance them around the grip. They're so dumb. It's like if you don't have Romanian grip on like some most of the AKs, you actually just can't use the gun, essentially. Like you, it's it's terrible. UMP45 meta. I mean, if you watch my low rank uh, video, I, I mentioned the UMP45 and the L22. Other guy in chat. Oh, I think the L22 is goaded. Oh, dude, I'm doing so bad. I just spawn die, spawn die. Somebody walks in front of me. I can't see. Okay. Um. Hold on. I'm gonna swap lobbies. One second, guys. The screen is gonna go black for one second. Is Spaz 12 bad? No, not not even. It's a good gun. Don't even have heard a kiss with me, dude. Spaz 12 is goaded. Make sure to smash the like on the stream, guys, if you're enjoying, by the way. We're at 40 likes on the stream. And go check out the new video. But I wanted to. It's Ravid 2016 again? What the frick? Okay, whatever. I don't like to switch lobbies that much, because... Oh my, I'm dead. No, I'm good. HK416 sucks. I mean, it's not that bad, but it's definitely not meta. You know, it's not very good. Maybe I should just use this for medium range. I don't know, dude. I just don't feel like Rabbit is a very good map for, like, actually getting kills. I don't get it. Rabbit is, like, the most overrated map. Desert Storm? Oh, my. <laughs> dude, I was just trying to reload my gun. I don't want to get kills with my secondary. I'm, like, not focused on getting secondary kills. It's not like I'm trying to get 10,000 kills on the freaking Saga 12 u Trying to get kills on the G3 battle rifle. This is goaded. This spot is goaded. I'm so open to like the whole map, but that is cool that you can super jump up there. I never thought about it like that. Honestly, like the best cover is just like a box you can jump over and then shoot a guy and then jump back down until you get sniped. You do that like 10 times and then you get sniped. What are they even aiming at? What is this, dude? Oh, you're over there. Oh, you're low. There you go. Now they're spawning over there. I, w I was just right there, dude. What are these spawns, man? I feel like they gotta do, like, very dynamic spawns on these maps. It's like, oh, this is just the area that they spawn for the entire game. If you're back here. Okay, and then... This guy just spawned there, and then I didn't even hear him walking up because he was just there from the start. 
MC51 is dookie. I ain't even gonna lie. It was good before, but I they like killed the recoil for no reason. It wasn't even that good. It was like funny and it was quiet. It wasn't very good. What? I can't kill you. I don't have the ability to kill a guy head glitching there. I'd have to have so much pen. You pushing for 10k? Yes. I'm almost at 9k. Oh my gosh, this guy moved. Um, empty reload? Okay, dude. How can I make a map for Phantom Forces? Uh, there's information about it in the Stylus Discord, I think. They will give you like 100,000 Robux if you make a good map. But, it, you know, it takes some time to do it. Uh, and it has to get added, I think, to get 100k. And there's so many maps that are in the test place. I'm not gonna lie, most of them are pretty bad. So I'm glad that they're not actually adding those ones, but it's like, they just end up in the test place forever and ever. It's kind of fun because you can use them for um, custom games. Like, Fura Maketo is the one I really like to do for custom games. It's not a great map on its own. Way, way, way too big and complicated. But it is good for um, custom games, which is fun. It's really good for zombies. What is bro doing? What is bro doing standing in the open? What? Uh, hello, Solitude? Hundred dollars. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, dude. You deserve 100 USD because your videos really helped me on how the guns work and how to play PF well. Keep doing what you're doing. Thank you, man. That is like every donation for the past like 15 streams combined. So I really appreciate it. My guy. Yeah, smash like on this guy's donation. We need to get more likes on that donation than the than the stream. Can we get 89 likes on the on the dono? I like how you can. Is he gonna jump on top? Oh, he did! When I was looking away. Some like CS:GO RP. Yeah. Buy a gaming chair from British thing. What? From barbecue? Oh my. 100 dono likes? That's what I'm saying, dude. Play Blackhawk Rescue Mission 5. One of my first videos was on that game. It fell off, though. Oh, I have 9,000 kills on this gun now. That's pretty cool. Barbecue. No, it's barbecue, guys. Don't even troll. Yeah, thank you for the dono, man. I appreciate it. Now I can buy... 28 meals from McDonald's. Actually, I don't know. They McDonald's is so expensive, man. I I remember I got a just like I I don't eat much fast food, but I had one burger from McDonald's, just like a Big Mac, which I don't think I'd ever had it before, but I had it I had to try one. It was like earlier this year. And it was actually like $7. Seven dollars for one sandwich from McDonald's. I can buy like an actual sandwich. I can just buy the ingredients to make a like, you know, maybe not like a burger, but you know, I can make some. Doesn't YouTube tax like half that? Uh, they take 30% and then I have to pay taxes. So, yeah, but no. Okay. YouTube taking 30%. I get it. But Twitch is 50-50. They actually take 50%. Oh my gosh. Okay, what is bro do Let me try uh, 45. I barely use 45 on this gun. My game is running so bad, too. I don't get it. It's running a little bit better since I restarted it. But I don't know. Oh my gosh. I'm looking at the chat. Is this count as kills? Should count as kills. Can you nerf this conversion? Or buff this conversion, Gruber? Just give it like an actual headshot multi. When it came out, it had like a 1.7 headshot multi. And then they're like, what if we just removed the headshot multiplier? You know, the the gun that's known for having a good headshot multiplier as this like defining trait. Um, you know, the conversion on that gun. Let's remove the headshot multiplier from it. Yes, it has a 1.4, but that's just the norm. Oh my gosh, dude, they got to nerf this. <laughs> they got to nerf that gun, bro. I have not been on the receiving end of the uh, 357 that often, 
but uh, it's very fun. I mean, they could uh, you could make it two times, but I don't know how broken it would be. I just want it to be a little bit better than it is. It doesn't have to be great. It's just like it's kind of nice for like CQC maps to like grind kills. Oh, okay, I was low. Top three favorite guns? I don't know. All time would be probably like. Uh, I mean, honestly, BFG is up there. I don't know if it's top three, but I ain't gonna lie. I actually really like the BFG. Not because it's good, because it's very funny. And I like using it. Yeah, I mean, if this could kill with one head, one body shot, it would be kind of good. It's not that bad on its own. It's just like there's really nothing like special about it. I guess the recoil is good. The muzzle velocity is really bad. It's like 1500 velocity. Uh, the damage is mid uh, it doesn't really have any multis. It does have a torso multi, which I think they just added to it. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Surprisingly, it's not working too badly. Yeah, I was going to reload. Take Vector S, because the low ammo count, it's only good to the top 0.1% of players. Dude, I don't understand that. It reloads so fast. There's like no really like drawback to running it dude if it did like a little bit less damage maybe that would make sense but it's like yeah it reloads really really fast so if you can't kill one guy per mag i don't know what to tell you man <laughs> it's not the 0.1 percent of people that can do that it's i'd i'd say a decent portion of players above 0.1 percent i just got shot it oh my gosh i'm just getting headshotted 11k kills on HK416. Am I cooked? Yeah. HK416 is doo doo. Don't even lie to me. Yeah, this is surprisingly better than I expected. Oh my gosh, I'm getting spawn killed so much that my KD is terrible. Dude. Okay. Wow. Yeah, I mean, if you could kill with one head, one body shot, it wouldn't be too bad. Oh my gosh, that guy threw so hard he didn't even bring him out of combat. Let me live. Oh my gosh, this bullet velocity is correct. I guess it makes sense now for this to have 1500, but before it was literally the same as the UMP, but just was big. Sig hotfix nerf, but yeah, it's, it's staying around for a while, yeah. I mean, you're bringing spirals back to playing this game over battle bit 24-7. Dude, spirals is like the most sweaty battle bit player you've ever seen in your life, dude. Alright, I'm gonna go back to this. What are you doing in the spawn of, of our team? You can't be doing that. That's not allowed. Oh my gosh, I'm dead to the nade. Listen, MP7 is also up there, but I'm not going to lie. Uh, people are only using, like, if you're a super high rank, you're only using, like, MP7 for flavor, you know? You're only using it because it's like, yeah, there's other good guns, I guess. Switching to battle bit is shocking. I mean, he hasn't really made any videos on it, but I think he streams it. I'm not sure. Maybe he mostly streams PF. I'm not. Oh, okay. That 180 was good, but. Is it a good idea to pre-buy G3? Probably not. I don't think that many people actually like it. Even though it's really, really good now. It's still like very acquired taste, I would say. The recoil feels really, really weird. You have to have a good setup on it. And it has high headshot multi. But if you're not hitting headshots, it's actually better to use like RPK with AP. Also, can we nerf RPK with hollow point? <laughs> or not hollow point, AP. That thing is so overpowered. It's ridiculous. I don't use it at all, but yeah. AG3 is better than G3 in my opinion. I disagree. I don't think there's any reason to use the AG3. It doesn't really shoot that quick. The damage is pretty mid, except for headshots. But then again, it's like 30, 38 or something. I don't know. And then the headshot multi isn't as good. It Basically now the only advantage of it is it shoots a little faster. That's about it. The reload speeds are very similar. Um, the damage on this is just significantly higher, and the recoil is really good if you have a proper loadout.
30. Yeah, I have 160. This gun used to be insane. And I remember the G3. Nobody even knew what the G3 was. This is 38 to 27 versus uh, 40 to 30. And this has a two times headshot multi. So it does 80 headshot versus this, which does like 68 or something. Oh, dang. And then I missed every other shot. You can't even... Can't even go up there, man. I'm gonna die instantly. Yeah, I'm not saying the uh, AG3 is bad. I'm just saying it's not that good. <laughs> we need 45 to 35 AG3 back. I disagree. That was the worst gun they've ever added to this game. Because it, it literally just ruined <laughs> so many guns. Specifically, every DMR. There's basically no reason to use the DMRs if there's an auto DMR. No, I'm just saying that the, the G3 is better than the AG3, and it's been this way for a while. AG3, like, they, I know they had to nerf it, but they nerfed it very hard. But it made sense, because the gun was insane. Easily the best gun. I mean, the G3 now does what the AG3 used to do, essentially. It has the same fire rate as the old AG3. I still think they should um, increase the recoil on the G3 and bring back the old fire rate and reload speed, so I can have my old G3 back. I'd be enjoying this gun a lot more if they did that. It's still a fun gun, but I'm mostly <laughs> I'm mostly using it because I had the kills in the first place. I don't think if I had this many kills, or if I didn't have this many kills, I would be using it as much. You know, I like it, but it's not... The fact that I already had like 7,000 kills on it, you know, that helped. Oh my gosh. Oh, you're so low. I just put you to 1 HP. Free fire him! I forgot how annoying this map is to play. If people are decent on the other team. I can't. Best low rank gun? I have a video on the best uh, low rank guns. I wouldn't say there's specifically one that's the best by far. There, there's a bunch of really good... Dude, that was an enemy player. And that guy just, it, when I'm running in a straight line, he just missed me like three or four times with a, basically a shotgun. I'm getting one shot to the bot. Okay. Uh, maybe I'm the bot. Oh my gosh, I hit those people so many times. <laughs> These guys are all so low. Somebody kill them, please. 600 RPM. Bring back the, I mean, it had 580. You can bring back the 580 one. Buff the reload speed, nerf the recoil. Easy. Easy win. Valper shorty was done dirty. That's what I'm saying, dude. That gun is terrible now. It used to be really good. I don't know what they did with the recoil. They made it especially terrible. It's actually unusable now. I won't lie. It's it's kind of just the worst gun I've ever used in my life. Okay, we got 50, but my KD was terrible. I'm not worried about my KD though, I just need the kills. I need just need the kills. Can we get a oh warehouse? Warehouse is not, not bizarre. Not bizarre, dude. Just do warehouse. MP7 is way better now? Yeah. Just uh yeah, Rex got an RPM nerf. And Mateba does no damage now. And I told Gruber to not add that. With the right look, it's like, oh yeah, the gun is absolutely unusable. But if you pre-buy certain attachments, then it's good. I hate that. I don't want that to be a, a feature in the game. I want every gun to be obviously better with attachments, but it shouldn't be that much better. It shouldn't be like going from gr like super awful to great. Like the G3 without attachments is pretty, it, it's not great. It has bad recoil and it can't three hit kill at range uh, like with AP. And then you run this loadout, and then it's super accurate, and then you can three-hit kill people. It's like, what the frick? You're telling me I have to get, like, a thousand kills? Literally a thousand kills to get all these attachments, right? It's a thousand kills for these attachments that I have right now. You're telling me I have to use a bad gun for a thousand kills unless I have money? It's screwing over the, the guys who have no money. There's no recoil with Halbic? You were in China when it got nerfed? 
Did you go and see the CSGO tournament that's going on in China right now? CSGO China tournament. What? Oh, I thought you died. I ain't gonna lie, dude. I thought you died. Bro, he's doing accidental launch tech or something. <laughs> what? Uh. Hello? Oh my gosh, who is shooting at me? Oh, they're, they're spawning over there. I don't know the the spawns in this game. I haven't memorized the spawns. AWS, Hecate, and SVDS. Yeah, those are all really good. SVDS, bring back the old SVDS. Just revert it, honestly. Genuinely. I don't want to see it become really bad, and I don't want to see it keep being the best sniper. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that guy had the had the strategy, but I was tracking him. Not every shot was hitting, mind you. Oh, you should be dead. I'm shooting the wall, but like this guy just does a pen. And I could see him. He was pinged. There we go. Oh my gosh. The problem with this gun is definitely the screen shake, but the gun itself is just so accurate. I, I just don't like guns that have this kind of recoil. But uh, I still like the gun, obviously. I have 9,000 kills on this gun now. So, uh, yeah, I have to say I like it. Best battle rifles, in my opinion, are G3, AK-12, BR, and ECR. Yeah, I, I wouldn't say ECR. I think ECR is, like, kind of a gimmick gun now, unfortunately. Because it doesn't two-hit that far, and there's just better two-hitting guns, but I would still say it's very fun. And definitely not a bad option. It's just, like, you got the UMP. Just use the UMP. If you're gonna use the ECR, just use the UMP. It's it's half the rank, and it's just better. Uh, there, there. Oh. Um. Give K14 old SVDS stats. It could be fun. Yeah, sniper buff needed. Okay. I don't care about a pistol rework. I'm not gonna lie. I'm fine with the pistols doing no damage because I just won't use them. But I don't want primary weapons to be bad. Also, I just want sniping to come back, dude. Sniping used to be so fun in this game. We had this, like, peak of just, like, every every sniper was just so OP. Except for, like, two that were bad. But other than that, it's like... Which, I don't want any of them to be bad. But then, they decided, yeah, we're gonna buff some of them, and then we're gonna nerf all the other ones. Because we hate using snipers. That's bad, and you should only use full auto gun and beam people. We'll also buff all the augs, so you, you can't use a sniper, because there's no point, because you have an aug. I just wanna, come on, I just wanna run around and click people in the body and, and kill them. Is it, is it that, is it that hard to ask? Come on, man. Is it, is it that mean to ask for that? Oh my gosh, this guy is actually just spraying. Is that guy just cheating? Because he's spraying directly at players. Not gonna lie. Unless that guy is like just spraying a wall and just happening to shoot at multiple people. Oh, will I be lagging or something? <laughs> okay. Augs got buffed a lot. They need to stop. I forgot the M M1683. I mean, listen, if the Augs didn't get a buff, the M1683 would still be pretty good. It actually got power crap. The M1683 got power crap. It's actually crazy. You know? Oh, that could have been an easy multi. A lot of cheaters recently? I mean, no. <laughs> you didn't play this game the first, like, two years of my channel. If uh, you think there's a lot of cheaters. There's a couple of cheaters. I saw one guy actually raid tracking. I don't know if that guy's cheating. He could be. But he's, like, a high rank, so I don't know. Yeah, I think he's just trying to troll. Uh, they change his recoil a bit. I don't like the augs, but objectively they are the best. Yeah, I mean I like the aug a one. Uh, aug a one is my highest kill of the uh, a series. Ooh, dude, it's crazy. You can just beam people from like any range with this gun. This gun used to not have any range. Moves like a spider in game? No, I move like a worm. I'm LJ the person, and I say I'm a worm all day for some reason. I don't get this worm meme. I don't get it. 
Oh, you're you're dinked in body shot. Yeah, you're so low. Best DMRs? Uh, I'd say SL8 Marksman Kit, MSG90, AP. Those two, probably, are the two best, in my opinion. Gruber, are you still in the chat? Do you agree with that? Oh my gosh. I think those are the two best. IMO. I think they're, like, Mark 11 is really good, obviously, but I just don't. Wait, okay, so do these crates just delete my bullets? Because I feel like I never wallbang anybody through the crates. Specifically, those that crate right there. Oh my gosh, dude, this gun is so goaded. Let's surf M1683 recoil. Yeah, exactly. M1683 was, like, not even used last update. I'm glad that the M1683 isn't, like, super meta because it's such a freaking lame and boring gun. I want to see a meta... Like, honestly, stuff like M231 meta, I know I'm going to get people mad at me for saying that, but at least was funnier than uh, M16A3. You know? I freaking hate the SVU. I hate the SVU. I think SA58, or no, SL8 Marksman Kit, Marksman Barrel, is goaded. Okay, you're sleeping on it, dude. It has, it's actually a hit scan gun. It hit scans, it has no recoil. And you can just three to four tap people at any range. You know? Oh my gosh, you're dinked. How are you dying to two hits after you get dinked for 80? Telling me this gun does less than 10 damage? Yeah. Like, I just don't like when a super freaking boring gun is the meta, but that's usually what the meta will end up being. Because obviously, the most effective tactic available is going to be the the really boring and consistent. Uh, L22 is the greatest gun in the game. I mean, L22 is actually, like, it's up there. I won't lie, it's actually good. L22 is slapped on. I won't lie, okay? I might be an L22 hater. But I, I can agree that it's actually really good. It's basically just like <laughs> short barrel L85. If it had like a carbine barrel that made it the L22, that would be the, L the L22. Think about that. Probably would be a carbine barrel if uh, they actually did the thing where they didn't make guns their own gun. I know that that was added uh, before conversions, but. Now they're like, oh, let's remove the conversions and then we'll make all the conversions their own gun for no reason. I'm so happy I think you. You're doing pretty good. 4.45 KD is uh pretty decent. Me through. I'm surprised I'm not dying. Dude, if you're at 20 health, you you basically are, are just done in this. You know, the chances of you getting hit by one stray bullet that does 20 damage are uh, pretty high. Uh, G3 is the best DMR now? Yeah, pretty much. Honestly, yeah, G3 kind of beats all the DMRs. The DMRs, like, should always do, like, extra damage and have all that other stuff, right? They should always have better velocity and better damage and stuff because obviously an auto weapon is going to be easier. It's like a burst weapon. It's like, if a burst weapon does the same damage as an auto, what, what is the point of using a burst? It has to do, like, more damage, have better range and stuff. Unless that makes it, like, really good. If you're really good. It's also blacklisted the UMP9, MP9 from ever being added. What the frick? Okay, UMP9, I don't care. But MP9? Oh my gosh, dude. MP9, I would, I would run the MP9 like crazy. Dude, the MP9 in Battlefield 2042 is so cracked. I freaking hate the MP9 in um, CS, but everybody uses it. Because obviously you have to use the MP9 right now in CS. You know, I mean, I don't hate it. It's definitely a really fun gun. I just wish you didn't have to use MP9 like crazy. Just the way that CS economy works right now. You have to use the MP9. If you don't have, like, half of your kills every game with an MP9, you're, you're like, you're fine. <laughs> Unless you're winning every single round, you have to use the MP9, like, every other round. It's cheap. It, it gives you good... Oh, wow. Yeah, the the... Socioeconomic climate in Counter-Strike. 
Best weapon to pre-buy in the new update? Vector, 100%. It's it's just the best gun, so... Definitely worth it. I have 9,100! Yeah! It's crazy, dude. We're, we're getting there, guys. We're working towards... I was under... I was under uh, 9,000 at the start. Now I'm 10% of the way on the final one. Depending on the renewed MP5K, um... Easily one of the best guns in the whole game. Especially if you can run the burst. If you can run the burst, it's goaded. I just died from... Okay, that was 20 studs. That felt like a lot further than 20. I don't even know what you're supposed to do against the new nades. You can see them from like... For like three, four seconds and run. And just run all the way as far away as possible. And still die. You know? Dude, he didn't even die to the nade. Because this guy stole my kill. That's annoying. Just start shooting randomly. You can't go in this hallway anymore on this map. It used to be like, yeah, you die to an aid sometimes. Oh my gosh. And then the other guy just dies. I'm just trying to get an aid kill. I can't even go that way. If I go that way, I just die. I mean, no. PF was never a pay to win game, okay? I mean... Yeah, I, I hate the argument. And then people still make the argument that, like, a high rank gun should be better. Like, oh, the, the BFG should, shouldn't should be as good as the Hecate because it's not a high enough rank. I literally was below. Did you see that? I was below. Yeah, no, this gun does have a lot of screen shake. I mean, you could probably just run, like, a Saku side or something, but it's actually extremely accurate anyway. See? It looks like it's inaccurate, but it's actually very, very accurate, so... I think I actually got to switch to uh, 45 for faster RPM. I like how this has a 45 conversion now. I just wish it was a little bit better. It's just not that good. But it's kind of better because it has a slightly faster TTK for CQC. You're not hitting uh, headshots on the base G3 because the base G3 can uh, one head, one body. If this did that up close, it'd be pretty good. Just give it enough headshot multi that it can do that. I think it was 1.7 before, and I think it could before. And then they were like, eh, no. <laughs> Should I care about my KD? No. Current rule of thumb is this. High rank guns can get useless quirky gimmicks, but well, low rank guns will be powerful and consistent. Yeah, I agree. That's kind of what it's like. I wish there was more somewhat gimmicky, like, low rank guns, though, because I feel like... I don't know, a lot of people would probably play the game more if they had access to more of those guns. But I totally agree. Like, they can, they both have to be as powerful as one another, but the high rank ones do it in a different way. You know? Like, theoretically, the Vector and the MP5K should be just as good as one another, but the MP5K is just a little bit more consistent, whereas the Vector has, like, the faster time to kill, but, like, drains mags super quick and only has 25 bullets and more recoil, whatever. Obviously, that's not the case right now, because um, the Vector is just the best gun. But that should be the case normally. Oh my, it's still 11 health. I actually can't go on this. If I go out there, I die if, if I have 45. If I go over here, I just die to a grenade. And if I go to the middle, I, I just get shot from both sides. There's basically nothing you can do on this map right now, dude. I just die instantly to all these guns. I... I like trying to um, play on a close range map after this SMG buff and not using an SMG. It's my fault. I should just only use an SMG. Is AK-107 better than Type 88? Uh, yes. It, it's not... There's more of an argument for Type 58. Don't use the base Type 88. It's really bad. But um, I would still say it's better for me than the Type 58. I don't like the Type 58, but it is it is good with uh, good attachments. It can be really good not a fan of it what are you doing uh oh that bounced there that's crazy all right i'm just gonna leave those on the ground do, 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 do. where are they spawning hello hello okay you're dead I was actually back behind the freaking wall again. Dude, they... I mean, it's not its not a stylus fault, but 
This game has terrible desync. Wait, hold on. AKs fell off really bad. Yeah, kinda. How to get grenade skin? This isn't a skin. This is a different grenade. Called the Rolly Hand Grenade. And it is not a skin. There are not grenade skins, unfortunately. The way to get this is it's a rank 300, so I pre-bought it. Uh, like, like 100 ranks early. So it was very expensive. It's like, probably like 20,000 credits, but obviously I have it, like infinite credits. Uh, I can do that. And it's the same as the basic grenade, so don't ever use it. Yeah, it's, it's basically an M67 skin, yeah. That's a very high rank. I kind of wish you couldn't pre-buy it. Because, I mean, I wouldn't have it, but I'd be fine with not having it just to be like, ah, yeah, this guy's rank 300. I see. He has this cool trophy of it. Oh, something was going on. Shoot him in the feet. Shoot him in the feet through a tire. Uh, you can argument that most of the low rank guns play the exact same with others in their class. Yeah, well, that's not, I don't think that's true at all. I think every gun is different if you look into it a little bit. There's definitely guns that are sim like more similar to each other, but if you take like, okay, let's just take the SMGs, okay? This one, 900 RPM, three to six shot. This one is a 625 RPM, two shot to like five shot. This is a 750 RPM, uh, three to six shot. This is a essentially four to five shot, 950 RPM, a uh, wall pen gun with high velocity. And this has, a, you know, 1,090 RPM. So they're all different guns and they all do different stuff. It's just like they're, they're less gimmicky, right? They all just do stuff. Yeah, the M16A3 is like the one time, but even those guns have have differences, right? I won't say they're uh, very special or interesting, but they definitely have differences. You know, and I think that's cool. And I'm glad that they have some differences. That being said, I think they're all really boring and I wouldn't use the M16A3 clones, but I would use basically any low rank SMG because they're all really good. And they were honestly like pretty good before. The MP5K was really only good with 10 mil and one I like default ammo is fine. Better than uh Oh my gosh, how did he not die? Better than uh MP7. Default MP5K, when is a four shot, was better than the MP7, because at least it didn't reload really, really slow. And it, there's no B25 URK grip in this to make the MP7 better. It would be cool if there's a reload time grip, but actually yo. Gruber, can we get a um can we get a reload time grip that makes your recoil worse? Because I would unironically run that on like so many guns, even if it made your recoil worse. Be a cool upside downside thing. I don't know. I don't know if it would work with the attachment system they have built around this game, because this game has a really goofy attachment system. Where like so many things like don't know how to put two attachments together that do different stuff. It's been outlawed for years. I don't get it. They need to be open to all possibilities, okay? Yeah, honestly, the worst thing they've added to this game um, in the past, I mean, maybe ever, honestly, maybe ever, is the new grenades, in my opinion. Not like, I, I'm fine with having new grenades. It's just how they're implemented that's so bad. And they need to fix it by making the grenades not all the most open. Um, also, PF needs better maps. I agree. PF has never really had good maps. Dude, I only got 30 kills. And I feel like a lot of them were assist counters kills. So yeah, I barely got any that time. So sad, dude. I was stuck in my spawn the whole game. Winterage is a new smaller Mirage. That map sucks. Only good map is Desert Storm. I agree. Desert Storm is, I mean... Yeah, now grenades are just 90% useless, 10% good. Yeah, it's like, before it was like, okay, there's one grenade. It's it's pretty decent. You can definitely cook it and kill people with it, but the, the range isn't super insane. And then now it's just like, yeah, all the grenades killed like 40 studs, except for like 90% of them. But 2% of them are, are insanely good, and you should only use those two. Yeah. I think, honestly, when they added the new grenades, they should have said, okay, listen, 
the default frag grenade from before, that is the highest killing range we're going to have, okay? We're not going to have any gimmicky, you only get one, but it kills really, really far grenade. Because nobody's going to like that, because you can just force respawn and just use it. Also, I like how the force respawn still just instantly despawns you. It's nice for videos, but um, why does it do that? It used to have five seconds before it happened, so you can just force respawn mid-fight, I guess. I don't know, man. Uh, why does this guy have a ballistics tracker, but then he has freaking rat shot? Also, why is it called rat shot, not dust shot? I think dust shot was way cooler sound. Yeah, I think the grenades, I, I don't think there should have ever been high explosive grenades, impact grenades, anything like that. I think they, um, yeah, they, they kind of, <laughs> I mean, I think it would be fine if the impact grenades didn't one shot, but there is the one that one shots. The other ones are, are fine. I don't have a problem with the other ones because they don't, they don't kill you from full health. Um, but yeah, the, the one that one shots you is basically one free kill. One free kill is not very fun. Is Rolly the best grenade? Not even close. It is literally a reskin of the base grenade. And you should never use it. I only use it because it's fun. And I don't really care about grenades. So, yeah. I uh, don't. Don't use it. Oh, shoot. Okay. Uh, when are grenades getting pen? I feel like they already have pen. I feel like sometimes there's like a one pixel thing in front of me and it saves me from the grenade and then all the other times it's just like no I just die instantly what is bro aiming at first off is that guy fly hacking and then getting kicked or is this just the lag oh my gosh get down from there bud Should it be only from guns with the same exact bullet? No. It's same class, and then there's also ammo types, sort of. So there's like light sniper ammo, basically, which goes together with DMR ammo. And that can be like pretty much anything. It can be like a 7.62x51, and it can be like a, you know, TCR 50 Beowulf bullet. It just has to be like a similar type of weapon or the same weapon class. Right, so like all secondaries can pick up weapon from each or ammo from each other. I don't know exactly which guns can pick up from which, but yeah, that's what I know of. And if it's the exact same weapon class, it can also pick it up. Like if you if you had a Remington 700, you can pick up ammo from an M60 because they're both a 7.62 by 51. Oh my gosh, that's everybody up there. I dinked him. Yes, I need all those kills. Oh, there's still a guy. There's a guy on here as well. No way this guy headshot me. I think carbines or LMGs will be after the pistol rework. Dude, don't even do pistols. Just do snipers and DMRs, please. Nobody's fiending for the Glock 17 to be good, okay? I definitely would like it to be good, but it's not my top priority, okay? And I don't think it's anybody's. I don't know. Which category would you guys like to be reworked? I'm dead. I thought I was on one of the taller stores, and I also thought that there was a window there, because my screen was gray. So can you not do a red screen anymore? Is there no more red screen when you take damage? Is it only gray? I don't know. Because I set mine to gray, and they first added the gray option. Well, no, it auto-set it. Maybe it just auto-sets and you can change it. I don't know. I like the gray more anyway. The point of carbines, arrows for mid medium, long range, PWs are for close range, and so on. I mean, as a class, you could make that argument, but I still don't, I don't like that argument, because it's like, yeah, but it's like, look at the gun stats. Is the gun stats good? It doesn't, it doesn't necessarily mean that all the guns are going to be bad. Like, the AK-105 is one of the best guns in the game, and it's a carbine. The SR-3M is one of the best guns in the game, and it's a carbine. Yeah, I mean, I definitely agree with it. As a whole, like if you think of the reason to use a carbine in real life, but it's like, yeah, look at this gun stats. Are the gun stats on this particular gun good? It's like the class, the class of weapon doesn't necessarily matter. 
make sniper similar to BF4. What, so they don't one-shot to the body? Pretty sure they don't one-shot to the body in Battlefield 4. I didn't play a lot of Battlefield 4, but when I did, I, I never one-shot anybody. Is there a sweet spot mechanic? I thought that was Battlefield 1. I thought that was only BF1 that had that. Oh my gosh. You're missing every shot. I can't hit him either. <laughs> He's just spamming jump. I can kill you in one bullet. I can never hit this guy, though. Oh my gosh, and there's actually people right in front of me shooting at me instead. I took 10 bullets. Oh yeah, SR3M is definitely outclassed now, but um, that's not the SR3M. It was good before, okay? It's still pretty good. I don't know, it's got better bullet velocity and stuff. Yeah, I mean, the entire close quarters meta has just completely shifted. Because you guys just made every every SMG just the most broken gun ever. Which, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about it, because it's like... If there wasn't a server browser, maybe that would make sense. Carbines are... No, carbine a carbine is... Well, technically it's a carbine, but I don't like to call them carbine because it's not stupid. But um, a carbine is just an assault rifle with the shortened barrel, basically. So that's why the M4 carbine is uh, just, you know... <laughs> As, as, it's not the same as an M16, but it, at the same time, it's basically just they shorten the barrel on an M16. It is a different gun, though. So. Yeah. Which is weird, because I think the Krinkov would be a carbine. Pretty sure the Krinkov is a carbine in real life. That, that gun does not have AP. Honey Badger is actually a PDW. That is true, it is a PDW. You just realized. Yeah, the weapon class... I mean, it used to be an assault rifle in this game. I remember. And uh, people thought it was the best gun in the game. Dude, Honey Badger, honestly, most overrated gun ever. Because, I mean, actually, BFG is up there too. But I feel like among, like... People who were like some of the best players at the time were saying that the Honey Badger was the best assault rifle and stuff. It was not the best assault rifle. Like, oh my gosh, you are so low. What is bro aiming at? 95. That's so sad, dude. I needed one hit to the torso. Since the new update, there's actually an almost... No way. It wasn't just synthesized OG, it was uh, Pet as well. Pet did it too. Probably um, Paradox Pokey as well. He probably did it. I don't remember. But I know it's Pet and synthesized OG. They they both like actually um, glazed it. To say the least. Every level 300 that sweats uses Honey Badger. Um, no. If you're talking about specifically level 300, no more, no less. Because I know, I mean, the highest ranked player is Spirals, and I know I know for a fact the only gun he uses is the Vector, right? The only gun. I don't think he's gotten a single kill with any gun that's not the Vector. Or, discounting his secondary <laughs> since the update, I'm not going to lie. I see every time he goes live, it's using the Vector. Every single time. Um... Intervention got nerfed hard. I hit a hit three times chest and he didn't die. That's not possible. Also, Intervention is still good. I think none of the snipers are insanely good right now, except for the PDS, obviously, but... <gasps> punch! Punch! But yeah, uh... Yeah, if you hit a guy three times, it's desync or you're just lying, because that's not possible. You just can't do it. It does 80 damage to limb all ranges. It's just not possible to three hit somebody. Unless you hit them and then they regen health. Is he over there? It's just not possible, man. You're just making stuff up. I don't know. 
I feel like when I used to play this game, I never checked the uh, damage. Or I never even like equated the damage to like number of hits required to kill. You know what I mean? Like nobody was like 34? Ah, they just went big damage, but they never thought like... Because if a gun doesn't, let, let's say a gun doesn't have a headshot multi somehow, 34 damage and 49 damage is essentially the exact same. Even though it's like 15 more damage. It, it's it's going to be the uh, multipliers and the ranges and stuff that are going to be the big thing, right? If a gun had no headshot multiplier and it had 49 damage, a gun with 34 damage would be better if it had like way better range, right? And it, and it actually had a better three hit kill range overall. So it's just really goofy that people never realize that you have 100 health and that you need to just divide you know, the damage by the health points and, and figure out how many hits it's actually requiring to kill somebody. Because if they did that and they actually looked at the multipliers and stuff, they'd be like, oh, it's the AUGH bar. That's, that's fine. <laughs> Which it took them until like 2020 to actually realize that the AUGH bar was the best gun. Yeah, it's just artificial for the range, exactly. Obviously, 49 is going to be better if it has the same ranges, but depends. And it also depends with like a combo of hits to kill, obviously. Like the MP5K, then even though it only does 48, um, which is like, okay, only 48. But uh, if, if you hit body shots, it's technically the same as the default MP5K. They're both a three hit. But then if you're hitting a single headshot, then it's going to be a two hit to the to the body, but not to the body because it requires a headshot, but you know what I mean. And then also it has a well better three hit kill range. I miss meta G3. No, this is the best G3 has ever been. G3 was never really meta, I'm not going to lie. Even when they nerfed it, like before that, nobody was still using it. I was trying to get people to use it. But yeah, this is easily the best G3 ever, and still nobody is using it. Because people just hit, hit the G3. MP510 got hit hard. Yeah, I agree. MP510 is zone. Uh, it's fine. But I mentioned it in my SMG video. Um, I, I think the MP510 is like the only SMG that after the changes, you can be like, oh, maybe it was a nerf. Has a battle rifle ever been meta? Yeah. Uh, ECR556 used to actually be good. Is it three? Uh, yeah, three hit. And it was actually really, really good. It was really, really good. It had good recoil. It had good hits to kill. It had good bullet velocity. Actually, the bullet velocity was bad. But it was basically like an M3A1 or M4A1, but it shot a little faster and it just three hit a lot farther. And it did 20 over range. So it was really, really good. And it had that 1.8 second reload as well. It was unironically like the best gun at the time. And not a lot of people were using it, but then they ended up nerfing it. It sucks now. And I never really used it that much, even when it's meta. I always hated it. Because <laughs> I was like, dude, you're taking the 10 bullet 50 cal gun and you're just making it boring. MP10 is better than MP4. MP10 is not good. But MP4s are good. Like you can you can like download a movie as an MP4 and watch it. You can't do that with, with the uh, MP10. Think about that. Even though I watch your movement guide, gun guide, and multiple of your tip videos, I still suck. Uh, I rank 36 of what gun should I use? Uh, that one. Or that one. Or uh, this one. All gauge bar meta was fun. I disagree, even though um, I had that many kills on it. I don't know. I don't think any particular meta was like super special to me. Um, this one is really fun. I really like this one. I'm not going to lie because it's funny guns that are close range. But um, when a gun is just like super good, it's not like... I, I just like when a gun is good and just fun and viable. Not when there's a gun that's super OP. And uh, that was definitely the case with the AUG H bar. It was really good. Like that PDW's assault rifles are actually distinct from each other with pros and cons now. Yeah, I mean you can you could definitely say that uh 
the SMGs have pros now. I still think that they work over like a decently far range, like pretty well. But yeah, I don't know. I think they could have done more with the uh, min damage of them as well as the bullet velocity. Like, if, I mean, it's, it's stupid that like the MP510 does 21 min. It's like, okay, that is pretty good min damage. You know, I still think they could go, what if that one did 17 men, and then default ammo did like 15 men, and then that way, you know, it could three hit, but then it actually had like more than just bullet velocity fall off, because yeah, I, I, I still feel like if a gun is accurate enough, bullet velocity isn't as big of a deal as some people think. Still definitely a good downside for guns. And I like low bullet velocity guns. I think they're funny. I like actually having to lead shots and stuff in this game because I feel like a lot of the guns you just don't need to. Or at least not that much. It's not like I'm actually aiming in front of people, especially with like high fire rate guns. Oh my gosh, there were so many people. I have uh, 2000 kills on the intervention. It's my high skill sniper. Oh. I made a video the other day on my highest kill guns. I'm gonna go check it out. Wait, let me jump. Oh my gosh, dude. This gun is too accurate. How do you feel about the AP change? I don't, I don't like it. I mean, it's cool that this gun can three hit all ranges, but uh, you know, I'm not gonna say just because I get to use a broken gun, that means that I like it, you know? Like, it's definitely funny. And I'm enjoying using it, but, uh, you know, it, it is definitely one of the changes of all time, for sure. Um, is muzzle brake still good? Yeah, it's good. There's just better options on a lot of the guns. I think most of the guns that muzzle brake is the best on are the guns that already have really low recoil, and it's just like, you're just completely removing it. Because right, it has to be a gun with basically only vertical. Uh, it doesn't make your recoil, your horizontal recoil worse anymore. So it's actually just a direct upside and it has no downside at all. But the issue with it is that just because it has no downside doesn't mean the upside is good enough on some guns. GTA on ah, music. No, this is from the finals, which is a bad game. Just gonna answer. Imagine. Originally going to be a flat out nerf as I pen was annoying and breaking a lot of map slash flow interactions. So be grateful got a compensation for some multiplier. I mean, AP, um, I'm surprised they haven't removed AP and hollow point. I'm not going to lie because they just like don't, they don't just don't fit. They just don't fit with how this game is now where there's like actual ammo types and conversions. You know, maybe back in the day. Maybe back in the day when there was um, no conversions. Was the op the first conversion? I feel like the first conversion that changed the name of your gun was the op. I think it was the op, right? What was the first conversion though? I don't think it was. that was the first conversion. I remember so many people hated ammo conversions. I don't get it, dude. I love ammo conversions in every game. I think they're really fun. It's so cool to take a gun and then make it something else. You know, like completely change its set of stats. And it's so nice because you can make so many of them really quickly as long as you just have creativity with them. Uh, is this guy cheating? Okay, I thought he was shooting fast, but I guess I was lagging. I don't think that many people are cheating anymore, but it's like, you know, when you lag and it's like, maybe they're using uh, Counter-Strike hacks where you shoot really quick. You can shoot like the whole op, the op in one burst. I love the burst op hacks. Conversions are just near enough with the new gun. Yeah. And um, they don't clutter up the UI of the game with tons of guns. That being said, I think most people prefer new guns because they can unlock them. And conversions, you can technically unlock them, but you have to use a gun a bunch. But then if you unlock a new gun, you don't have to use it. Think about it. You don't have to use a gun at all. Think about it. You have to. You can use any gun you want, and then get more guns. 
In versions, you have to use one particular gun for like a thousand kills, which is really sad. I think maybe conversions should be less. Also, I just think that more uh, guns need to have like low kill attachments that like change it. I kind of wish the um, the sights were in a different order for every gun, as much as that would kind of like feel really weird. And they definitely can't change it now, but it would be cool if it was like this site is the starting site or like one of the first sites on this gun. So you could actually like use all the sites. Because it's like you just use the Delta site in the Z point. You know? It'd be cool if there was different site progression. And you could be like, ah, this time I have to use the OKP7. Oh, I actually like this site. You'd, you know, kind of mess around a little bit more. But they definitely can't do that now. But it would be cool. 1911's Glocks for conversions, like, holy, they clutter the UI so much. Yeah, I told, I literally, I complained about that so much when they first added the Glock update. That's crazy. Glock 18, 50 GI conversion reduced to atoms. Yeah, oh my gosh, that was so fun. That was, I forgot about that conversion. I, I thought you meant Glock 17, but yeah, the, the 50 cal with 1100 RPM. I made, like, a full video on that when my channel was pretty new. That was crazy good. Why are you guys back here? You're literally sniping across the map, like, in our spawn. It doesn't even make any sense. I would have meleeed that guy, but I need the G3 kills, so I'm just gonna G3 him. But you're dead. Yesterday, I got a blueprint for 99% off. Which gun? It's pretty good. It depends on the gun. Honestly, anything for 99% off is good. If it's like under like 300 credits, doesn't matter what it is, get it. You know? Bolt SMG 50 GI was also cracked. When it first came out and it actually had like 1000 RPM, then they lowered it to 850 and I was like, kinda, eh, it's fine. But I really liked it because it could two shot body shot and it had 1000 RPM, which is so cool. And I liked it and I thought it was funny. Even if it was like kinda OP, but. They could have nerfed it in a different way than nerfing the RPM. I hate when they do that. They're like, you, you know this gun where the where the fun gimmick is that it does big damage and shoots quick? What if we just made it not shoot quick? It's like, okay, then it's just like a boring gun. I mean, it, it still wasn't that boring. I just wish it shot quick. They're just like guns that shoot really fast. And you dump your mag in like one millisecond, but they do a lot of damage. Which is why Vector Sig is good. But it's actually good. All guy 3 for 45 credits. Yeah. It's still pretty good. That's still kind of boring because it's an Auge 3, but uh, I'd still buy it. I don't know. Auge 3 is just like, if, if you're getting like, like a sniper or like a, like a machine pistol or like a revolver, or like something cool that you can test out, totally worth it. Even if it is an Auge 3, it's just kind of sad that it's not something more interesting, but it's still going to be good. Uh, Auge 3 is obviously very good. Uh, what grip would you say is good with the bars barrel? Um, the yellow laser. Oh, for AK-103 specifically, still probably the yellow laser. As for setups, uh, I do setup stream sometimes. If you donate, I'll do a setup, but other than that, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get these G3 kills. Uh, should I buy ASMI for 70% off? Uh... I'd probably do that, yeah. It three hits torso. Three hitting torso? ASMI? Or like, no, it three hits like pretty much anyway. Yeah, no, it, it's insane. I don't know why the ASMI isn't like the most used gun right now. I can't think of a single conceivable reason. You Okay. <laughs> I can't think of a single reason you wouldn't use it right now. I'm not going to lie to you. I should honestly just be using it. I'm just too lazy to use it. You know? Oh my gosh, I feel that jump. Okay, we're gonna actually get out the ASMI. I... Tech 9 is good as well. I actually need to get 100 kills on this gun as well. MP5 SD with tons of attachments, 40 credits. Yes. Get that. MP5 SD is cracked. MP5 SD is cracked this update. It sounds good. It used to be one of my favorite... What is this? Oh my... Goody gumdrops, dude. Okay, dude. 
Actually, the drum mag is so bad. I love that the drum mag is just terrible. And you, well, yeah, I, I actually think that the A12 would be way more used if the drum mag wasn't like actually terrible. It's like the Xenomag on the M107. They made it so bad that you're not really supposed to use it. But for some reason, people are stupid and, and use it anyway, or they just don't use it at all because they think they have to run the drum mag. Like the A12 with the eight round mag is still, it's not good. <laughs> it's definitely not good, but like, because the drum mag makes your like spread a lot worse. It makes your walk speed absolutely terrible. It is such bad walk speed. That is a big problem. A12 drum flechette, yeah. That used to be definitely one of the features of all time. If you didn't know, guys, flechette used to make your range better. You it would give you three times the pen on your shotgun. Your your shotgun had like AR AP pen. And um also, it, it didn't really have a massive effect on damage, and um, and you could run uh, drum mag and flechette because drum mag used to be an other attachment on the A12. I don't know. Oh my gosh, he's cheating. Is AKU12 good? Eh, it's pretty good. I mean, I actually kind of liked it. If you get like a full setup on it, it's actually not too bad. Dude, I was. Did you not hear what I was doing? I was doing shave and a haircut, and this guy shot me anyway. That's so sad. Flechette would also make spread tighter. I didn't know that. I mean, maybe I knew that back then, but I didn't know I did that. That had new muzzle attachments. Mm. AQ12 is a nice IMO. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. I used it. I have 859 kills on it. Uh, a decent number of those are on uh, PPK-12. Why did I have this? For some reason, I had a hollow point rebot. I don't know why. I think maybe somebody told me to use it for a setup one time. Oh, yeah. It increased your velocity. I forgot about that. It increased it by a lot. I think it gave you like 1,800, which is good. Uh, I would recommend like... Coyote sight or Delta sight, probably muzzle break, stubby grip, green laser, and no ammo. Or 9mm. You could run 9mm if you're feeling frisky with it. This map is terrible. This map is so bad though. <laughs> it's just like, oh, you want to walk out in the open and get sniped? Or do you want to sit in the back of the map and snipe? Oh, you want to use a different gun? You want to use a different type of gun because you're trying to get kills on a, on a specific gun? No, and you're not allowed to do that. What if we made Mirage, but there's not even like a fun area to fight in close range? What if we did that? You like Mirage? Oh, you don't? You didn't ever, ever like Mirage? What? Oh my gosh, dude, that is so annoying. Is the most fun weapon to play with, in your opinion? Um, depends. I change like very often. Actually, probably a double barrel, double barrel shotgun, the DT-11, probably the most fun ever. I got, dude, it's the only gun that's ever been added to this game that I immediately got like a bunch of kills on. I got 2,000 kills on it in like the first like week or so. It was crazy. That's probably the most I've used a single gun in like a, like a short period of time, except maybe I guess the G3 when I'm grinding it. I don't know. So good. It was really, really good back then because it was before the shotgun nerf. Um, and uh, I didn't even use short barrel on it. I used like full choke. It was back when the choke attachments actually used to be pretty good. And they like, oh my gosh, what are you doing? Uh, old KS23M was uh, very good, yes. KS23M with long barrel and bird shot. That gun used to go insane, dude. You could one-shot people to 150 studs. A every single bullet was a one-shot. If they were standing up and weren't behind cover or anything, you can just use birdshot. Because for some reason, the birdshot ammo type barely reduced your damage on those. Or like, it was still, it still did 34 damage per pellet. So it could kill with three pellets and it had 16. Okay, it could kill with three out of 16 pellets. Oh my gosh. I don't even know what I try, dude. I don't even know why I try. 
All right. Uh, we've been streaming for quite a while. I got a bunch of kills on the G3. I probably got like 400 or so kills on it. So that's pretty good. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to end the stream here. So if you guys did enjoy, smash. Saga never got the new long barrel. It still decreases spread. Oh, I think people use the Saga with a long barrel. I don't know. I don't really use the Saga that much. But yeah. I'm gonna go, especially because this map sucks. It's the worst map they've ever added. But, uh, see you guys. Wait, go check out the new video if you have not. If you have not, go check out the new video and smash like on the new video, guys. Smash like on that video, please. And comment the most toxic gun on the new video. Comment which gun is the most toxic. In your opinion. Okay. There you go. That's the video. Go like it and go comment the most toxic gun. See ya!